And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Welcome to the Consumer Quarterback Show, Tampa Bay and the Gulf Coast region's number one consumer advocate-based program right here in Tampa Bay. We want to help you win in any marketplace. And when we talk about any marketplace, we're referring to 80 different categories of consumer advocate content and advice that we give here daily at 4 o'clock drive time right here on AM 860 The Answer. And we've got a weekend show on FM 1025 The Bone, and we syndicate as well to Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Roku, and 85 other outlets. So if you're at home on your smart TV, you can search us up on Binge Networks as well. You can find our show there. Uh, but we would love to connect with you. We want to entertain, enlighten, and engage. Uh, but most importantly, we'd like to engage with you by having you reach out to our hotline, 813-670-7372. That's an off-air number. You can call or text that line anytime. And we've had a significant uptick in calls lately, uh, people reaching out wanting to find out more about uh, refinancing, listing their properties. We've had some realtors calling to try to join our team, uh, real estate investors, lots of ways we can help you here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. So save this number in your phone. At some point, you may need it. 813-670-7372 and check out ConsumerQB. Dot com consumerqb.com and this segment is brought to you by two maids and a mop the official cleaning partner of the consumer quarterback show two maids and a mop and they do a great job cleaning our real estate properties and personally they clean our home uh, so we are very happy to be working with tabitha and her team with two maids and a mop in clearwater and they have a pay for performance plan and they also have safe reliable professional grade cleaning offered from two maids and a mop give them a shout let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on the special offers and incentives just by mentioning that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, let's make our introductions here today in studio with me, attorney Millie uh, Athanason here in studio. Welcome in. Thank you very much. All right. So you cover a wide variety of topics in your uh, your practice. Yes. Give us a little overview of what you, about what you want to talk about today. Well, I thought that I might touch upon maybe visitation during this COVID crisis mm. because I think a lot of people are concerned about, well, do I send my children over to the other parent or something like that? So yeah. I thought that might be an interesting topic to, to touch upon. COVID, COVID couples are out there. Yes, right? they are. <laughs> That's right. So we got COVID <laughs> act happening, affecting a lot of things here uh, in Tampa Bay. And let's go to our mortgage partner, mortgage expert contributor, Diane Vance as well, Fairway Independent Mortgage. Welcome. Hey, Brandon. Hey, how Diane. are you? Doing well, uh, thank you. <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to talk today. Hey, things are getting better still. Every time I think every week I get on the every week I, I go on your show, I'm finding and giving you good news. Um, interest rates are great, of course, but the market has loosened up. And today I'm going to talk about putting less than 20% down and explaining how mortgage insurance works. I like it. All right. Good stuff. Yeah, things are things are picking up. I tell you, we put a lot of properties under contract in the last 24 to 48 hours. Uh, this morning was one of the busiest mornings I've had in a long time. I just couldn't get off the phone, which is oh, yeah, great. No, I, I'm not I, complaining. I, I, yeah, I, I literally been on the phone the entire morning. So yeah. Yes. Don't pre-approval. So, yes, absolutely. I have a couple more to do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's great. So it's always good to be busy. Definitely not complaining about that. Uh, let's uh, talk to Ray Hall because I know he's been busy as well. Ray Hall, Ray Hall appraisals. I'm extremely busy. You know, the uh, reason I'm not in studio today is I'm down here in Port Charlotte uh, helping out my mom. Just sold her house. Uh, I have a friend of mine who uh, put his up, uh, house up for sale, had a full offer in two days. So, you know, we're really still seeing a great market. I'm as busy as can be. In fact, uh, when I'm done down here, I got to run up to Spring Hill to get some appraisals done. So, uh, you know, I I'm surprised how well we're still seeing the market doing. So, uh, you know, it's, it's great to be able to get good news out there to everybody. 
That's right. Yeah, real estate is deemed essential. It is an essential business, and and mm -hmm. the low inventory market that we're in is affecting a lot of uh, people differently. And and some people, yeah. when they read the national news, I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions. When you read the national news or you hear a certain station or channel talking about real estate, you're getting you're getting information on a national scale, more of a macro. But you yeah. really have to dial into the local markets. Real estate is such a local thing. Uh, everything from crossing a railroad tracks, a major artery uh, in, in a thoroughfare, or uh, each individual community with separate homeowners associations or lack thereof. So real estate is extremely local. So that's why you want to relay and, and work with a local real estate economist of choice. And that's uh, the real estate team here with the Platinum MVP team, Keller Williams Realty. My wife and I own and operate our top team uh, here in Tampa Bay. So we'd love to help you with that. Uh, let's go back to Diane. So Diane Vance, Fairway Independent Mortgage. Uh, when you when you look at the COVID nineteen and kind of uh, what are we about eight to ten weeks or so into this thing, what are what are some of the key takeaways and and what are you seeing right now? Well, what we're seeing is so FHA I think our government loans. You know, right when the COVID nineteen the, they allowed people to go into forbearance, so uh, the reaction in the lender world in the mortgage market was they raised uh, minimum credit scores. However, that has been addressed by um, by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and the government. So that's helped. So credit scores now for government loans are 620. They were, they went to 660, went down to 640, went down to 620. And I think we're going to see even some loosening up as we go. Some big things that we want to talk about is that we are uh, checking with employers the day before closing and part of our, to make sure people are still working and they're still working the same number of hours that we had approved for. And part of our issue is that, you know, there's a lot of HR departments, it, it's just a verbal verification. A lot of HR departments aren't in, or they'll have the work number and you have to call. So we are trying to verify. There's other ways we can verify it, but, um, you know, just want people to be aware that that is happening with all lenders. We do it the day prior to close. Some lenders are doing the day of closing, but most lenders are doing it usually about three days prior and the day before. And that's just because of the furloughs out there. However, things are improving. Um, it's a good market. Um, interest rates are very, very good. And um, they're going to continue to be good. I mean, they're predicting you know low, low rates for a very long time. Of course, interest rates are based on credit score. And I want to talk a little bit about mortgage insurance because I tend to explain this a lot. And I actually put it in my pre-approval letter. I kind of give this long pre-approval letter with uh, not just the letter itself, but kind of explanation of what goes into a, a loan. I, you know, A lot of things that come up that people may not remember if it's their second home or it's their first home. We want to tell them what kind of mortgage they have, you know, how much down payment is needed, whether it's, if it's a conventional loan, you can put as little as 3% down. And um, typically anything less than 20%, you're going to have mortgage insurance premium. The mortgage insurance premium is based on your credit score. So depending on your credit score and depending on the loan amount, uh, sometimes if the credit score isn't as high as what you would get your best in, uh, mortgage insurance premium, I may suggest that you go FHA. Of course, we all know VA is a great way to buy, the best way to buy. If, if there's veterans out there, that's zero down and it is the best way to buy. Um, but with FHA, it's 3.5% down. A conventional low is 3% down. We are seeing some of the down payment assistance programs possibly coming back, and, and some of those are starting to come back. Um, some of them are still on hold, but it depends on the county, depends on a lot of things. Um, but with the, with the mortgage insurance premium, you have an option of paying it monthly. The other option is, depending on your credit score, the higher the credit score, sometimes it makes a difference because you're going to have your, that monthly for conventional loans. We're gonna, you're going to have that monthly mortgage insurance on there for 10 years. And if you have a, uh, if you can or you have a seller paying closing costs. You can actually negotiate a, a seller to pay closing costs sometimes, depending on the, the price. It depends, though, on the market. Um, but if you can do that or if you have the funds, it's almost, depending on the credit score, sometimes doing a single premium 
uh, payment, which means you pay it up front so you don't have that monthly mortgage insurance. And that is the difference if you have it on there about 65 months is what it comes out to be. So you're not paying mortgage insurance for the entire time, but you want to make sure you're staying there that long. So uh, so it depends on your situation, depends in, depending on how high your credit score is. It depends on a lot of things, whether that is a better option for you or not. We see a lot of people doing that. Um, we have some financed um, um, mortgage insurance premium that we can offer as well. But again, it depends on your actual credit score and what is the best program for you. But no, you don't. A lot of people have the misnomer that they must put down 20%. Right. You do not have to put 20% down. Yeah, the, the 20% down, it's got to be one of the biggest misnomers or at least confusing areas of real estate and finances and a lot of reasons why people keep renting as well. They they just have this thing, this stigma out there, 20% down, Diane, there's there's payments, uh, down payment programs that really can help with that. Yes, and um, yes, and and by the time you put your, your first, your deposit, your first month rent down, honestly, you could actually probably have enough for uh, to purchase a home. Right, especially if you get smart and you, you have a savvy realtor that's going to allow uh, parts of either a rebate of their commission or develop seller concessions uh, into the deal, put seller concessions into the deal uh, where you're moving some of the money from the seller side over to the buyer side uh, just to help them come out of money uh, pocket with less money uh, to the closing table. So it's a smart way to do business. Yes, it's actually, it makes a big difference. Yeah, and so Diane, you know, a top, you're, you guys are a top five lender in the country. Last time, I, I can't remember how many billions in funds that you've, uh, loans that you funded. We, uh, we did almost 40 billion last year, and this year we're 75% above a year ago in volume. So we, wow. we are 75% more than we did this time last year, and we are busy. And, and with that comes some savings for our customers, folks that are calling in and texting in from the quarterback show. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. right. Awesome. All right. Great stuff. Get pre-approved if you haven't done so. Diane Vance, Fairway Independent Mortgage. Also a great time to look at potentially refinancing, uh, reducing your uh, PMI, and also potentially taking in some credit card debt, rolling that in, and uh, lowering your overall monthly payments. So more from Diane coming up in our lightning round. Ray Hall. Ray Hall Appraisals up next. And attorney Millie. Athanason Esquire here in studio as well. And our feel-good story of the day is a good one. We've got Kenny Chesney. He's got 120 employees. Interesting interview that he had here recently. We'll talk about it here next. All right, this week we're going to talk about something exciting as usual. We always have something exciting. Yes, we do. At least it's exciting to us. But this is a question that comes up. TV, hey, it is Friday night. We're not here. Yes, we pre-recorded once again because We Beam TV is working over in Tampa with San Diego Star. <laughs> 62, who knew? I almost said Professional Mortgage Alliance, Joe's Bar and Grill. But actually, it's our 39th week of uh, 62, who knew? Uh, we're at the wonderful steampunk event at the Verizon Event Center here in 2019. I think it's still August, right? Yeah. Woo! To be able to help businesses to do the, that part of it. But it's just been a couple of years. Well, and I've taken the business card files from our business card. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Entrepreneurs and professionals of Tampa Bay, Welcome to your hour for getting the information, the tools, and the connections Ian for Beckles on Radio Influence. Hi. Or you say left hand white, and then they catch the left hand white. What it does, it helps you quick with hand eye coordination. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, that's Your super connector. We want to introduce you to our 50 plus show partners. We got over 80 categories of expert contributor advice here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, and we want to. That's, that's where we disagree, but that's okay. I said nonviolent. That's okay. Because you know we're we're one of the only states that don't give them back their rights. Got Jamie Limbaugh. He is from the Next Step. Image. 
I love, I love that movie because you were telling me earlier. For the type of republic we actually are is actually very correct. Yet politicians and regular people use these words interchangeably, even though technically they are very different. Uh, you're an overdoer, overachiever, people pleaser, we tend to neglect ourselves. Mm -hmm. And even as Sisters Connected here, you know, with Women Unscripted, I know. And we're back. Brandon Rhymes here, your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. Now, if anybody out there has a situation, either themselves or a loved one, that maybe need to sell their property quickly, we do have instant offers available, cash offers, uh, where you hear a lot of these different companies advertising for that. Uh, a lot of the companies have pulled out and stopped buying because of the COVID, but now we are Still offering that through Keller Offers is a program that we have through Keller Williams Realty. And it's a quick cash offer, close fast, close quickly, very limited uh, inspections. So if you have somebody that wants to sell quickly, we would love to talk to them. Uh, just reach out to our hotline, 813-670-7372. This segment is brought to you by the Golf Cart Depot, uh, one of our show partners and friends of the program, Marty and his team. They do a great job at Golf Cart Depot. They've got the Icon electric vehicles. Easy Go, Star EV, Cushman, uh, pre-owned and remanufactured golf carts available. And they will bring the golf cart to you, test drive it at your home, check their Facebook page for updates, and reach out to our friends at Golf Cart Depot of Florida. Two locations, one in Lando Lakes, the other is in Clearwater. Let them know that the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on special offers and incentives just by mentioning that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show. And want to talk about a couple of hot property listings here. We've got some hot listings in Tampa Bay. Got a two and a half million dollar property coming up uh, very soon. We'll be talking about that next week's show. It's a waterfront right in Tarpon Springs, uh, kind of a pocket listing right now. Check our Facebook page for details on that. But uh, 520 George Street South. This is a gorgeous property right on Lake Tarpon. Uh, you've got your own private dock, mother-in-law suite as well. So perfect for a rental, separate income, maybe even a maid's quarter. And the property is a great opportunity to live the Florida lifestyle at its best on the largest lake in all of Tampa Bay, Lake Tarpon, 520 George Street South, Tarpon Springs, and also another beautiful property at 422 Wildwood Way, 422 Wildwood Way in Bel Air Beach. Now, this property is gorgeous as well. It's completely renovated. Uh, the owner put over $100,000 of recent upgrades and additions uh, and renovations into this property, including lush tropical landscaping, 422 Wildwood Way in Bel Air, close to all, all the best uh, golf courses as well, and very close to the beaches right over there in Bel Air. So check out all of our listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. And we are back here in studio. Our goal is to help you win as a consumer advocate, and we bring on all the best expert contributors here uh, in the Tampa Bay area and the Gulf Coast region of Florida that we've vetted, we've assembled, and we want to be that consumer advocate. So we're going to talk values now. Tampa Bay, we got Ray Hall, Ray Hall appraisals here uh, on the show, talking about things happening in Tampa Bay. And Ray, when we look at the market, a lot of misconceptions, you know, as I mentioned in the opening dialogue, a lot of people hear national numbers and then they compare that to the Tampa Bay numbers. Very different, two different beasts right there, isn't it? Absolutely, because, uh, you know, different parts of the country are being impacted by this virus differently. Um, you know, down here, we had less cases than they had up in the Northeast. Um, so far, I haven't seen a slowdown in the real estate market yet. I haven't seen a slowdown in purchases. I haven't seen a decline in values. So if you're looking at national numbers, you know, it's going to be skewed because of those areas that were maybe hit harder, maybe areas like New York and Boston, uh, right. things like that. Uh, here in the Tampa Bay area, you know, I was uh, driving down to Port Charlotte this morning and traffic was heavy on I-75. You know, there were a lot of people out on the road. So, you know, it looks like, you know, the, w w everyone's coming back out. Everyone's, you know, leaving their homes, getting back to work. And, you know, we still have yet to uh, have that oversupply of uh, houses. We still have a shortage of it, which right. helps those sellers. 
Yeah, absolutely. So the shortage of buyers. So we need buyers. <laughs> We're looking for buyers that want to buy. Uh, right. But we also have uh, sellers. We have a need for sellers because the inventory is ranging from 2.4 months to 2.6 months, almost every price yeah. point. And the lower price points, the 180 to 250, there, there's a lot of buyers there. The inventory goes super fast. And yeah. the less inventory, you know, the, the, the properties that are around 350 to 550, you know, those are going to last a little bit longer. But I know Lindsay, my wife had one, she put it up the first day and we had four or five offers uh, within a matter of two or three days. So we, you know, in that yep. situation, we call for highest and best, multiple offers. Uh, please submit your highest and best, you know, by, you know, we'll pick a date like 24 hours out, 48 hours out, and then we'll go into a highest and best situation, Ray. Yeah. And I, I have a friend of mine as well, just listed his house in one of those areas, you know, that are around the median sale price. And he had a full price offer in two days. Exactly. So, you know, we're really not seeing, you know, everybody was worried that people were going to be fearful of buying into the market and we're just not seeing it in this area. Um, and with things opening up, people coming back to work, you know, if it happens quickly, hopefully that will, you know, lessen the chance of any foreclosures and REOs because we don't really want to see those on the market. But, you know, we're really not seeing those that much. So, I mean, it's really just we've been really fortunate in this area. Um, you know, we always say how great of an area Tampa Bay is, and uh, we're seeing it right now. Uh, I'm, I'm as busy as, as I could possibly be. I've had to hire, you know, three new people recently, uh, you know, just to keep up with the, uh, the demand. Now, Ray, let's talk a little bit about trends. We always like to try to look forward into the future, see what's happening. You know, Trump, uh, a lot of economic uh, advisors and economists are talking about Third quarter is going to be our transitioning quarter. They're saying the fourth quarter is going to be gangbusters. It's going to be back to hopefully normalcy from where we were pre-COVID-19. And in terms of commercial real estate, we have seen a trend. A lot of the workers are being uh, working from home via Zoom or Skype, whatever system they're using. Um, mm -hmm. Talk to us about the, how that may affect commercial real estate and, and some of those alike. You know, that's going to remain to be seen, to be honest with you, because you are going to have some companies saying, well, look, you know, they've been just as productive working from home as they were working in the office. Yeah. We don't really need to occupy $20,000 or 20,000 square feet worth of office space. We really only need five or 10. Uh, but you're still going to have some of those uh, uh, businesses uh, like, you know, law, medical, that have to have an office. They have to have a place to secure documents. Um, so, it, you know, it's all going to, you know, and, and a lot of it could turn into just using that space differently. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of renting out the whole office space, a lot of these uh, owners may convert it to shared office space. So, because I, I, I personally, I work from home every day. That's where my office is, is out of. And I've been tempted to get the shared office space just so I'm leaving my house at some point. Or when I am at home, you know, I'm still at work. So a lot of people, even when they're working from home, enjoy going out to the shared office space just for the, the different view. And we could see an increase in those types of properties. I know a few of them around the Tampa Bay area, but we may see an increase in that. So, you know, smart business owners, they adapt with the changes in the market. Yeah. So all these real estate owners, all these commercial owners, you know, maybe they're going to lose some tenants, uh, but hopefully they're going to adapt to the new market, the new normal, and, you know, figure out a way to, you know, get that property producing income again. Yeah, absolutely. And if you just joined us, we're talking with Ray Hall, Ray Hall appraisals here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. I'm your host, Brandon Rimes. We're talking a lot about real estate here locally uh, for the Tampa Bay region, typically your five or six counties around Tampa Bay. And when you, when you look at the market, uh, the income is such a major part that goes into the purchasing. So Hopefully, some of these these over 30 trillion or 30 million Americans that have lost their jobs are going to be able to come back to get un, get uh, employed. Uh, of the 30 something million, there was 12 million or so that came back from at least from a webinar that I was watching earlier this week. So people are coming back getting jobs. More people are still getting laid off. Uh, so the income side of the equation could be potentially affecting the amount of buyers that are out there, Ray. It could be. You're, you're absolutely right. And, and like I said, we really don't know what the total impact is going to be yet. But, you, you know, sometimes I look at my own what's going on in my personal life and, you know, I'm, I'm not special. So it's got to be going on around the country. 
And one thing is, is I had a cousin who lost his job because he worked at a restaurant. Yeah. Within the past two weeks, they gave him his job back. He's working again. Uh, my sister, who had been laid off from a software company, uh, she texted us all yesterday. She's got a new job. She starts June 1st. So like you said, yes, there's still layoffs, but there's also companies going back to work, producing, and needing people to help produce that product. So I, I think really we just all have to stay positive. And, you know, if, if you're unfortunately one of those people who was laid off, you know, go out, look for jobs. There are companies out there who are hiring. Don't, don't sit back and, and hope that unemployment is going to get you by. Go out, be proactive, and, and yeah. look for that new job or start a business. You know, get out there and do something, though. Yeah, exactly. There's, there's. You got to look where the where the money's gone, where the industries are, and the home delivery services, those different types of uh, delivery, everything from food to documents to uh, products that are people are buying. Those are definitely there. Um, when when you think about the market as well in Tampa Bay, uh, you look at trends, people moving closer to work, closer to the beach, different types of move up buyers. I think now's a really good time if somebody wanted to move up. Let's talk particularly about that particular segment and why it might be good for a move up buyer right now, Ray. Well, I mean, a move up buyer, is, it's a great time for that, like you said, because interest rates are so low. So maybe you've been in your house for you know, 10, 15 years and you're paying a mortgage that's five, six percent. Now maybe you can go out and get a bigger house, more luxurious house with a lower interest rate, a considerably lower interest rate, and your payment may not change all that much. Not to mention if you've built up equity in the house you're selling, you can, you've got a good sizable down payment on that new house, you have the lower interest rate. Uh, if you plan it right, you may even be able to save money by upgrading your house. So that's something you definitely want to look into, especially yeah. if you've been growing a family and you're running out of space. I mean, you know, my kids get bigger by the day. And sometimes I look around thinking, you know, how long can we stay in this house? Yeah. And the third part of that as well is if you're selling a property, again, to that example earlier in that $200,000 price range and you're saying, hey, I want to move up to my dream house. Now we're going into the 300 or 400s. There's less competition up at that higher price point. So that's going to enable also to be another advantage for a move up buyer. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, you know, markets like this, you know, people are scared of it, but you, there's a lot of advantages to it, too, if you know how to take advantage of that. Absolutely. Um, and we'd love to get him in touch with, with Diane Vance, get him pre-qualified. And Ray can also help with his uh, reduced cost uh, owner's use appraisal, $150. He'll do an owner's yeah. only use appraisal for you as well. Uh, more from Ray Hall coming up, Diane Vance as well in our lightning round. Uh, up next, we're going to talk with Attorney Millie here in studio, uh, Athanason Law right here in studio. And we're also going to dive a little deeper uh, with our experts. We'll be right back. All right, this week we're going to talk about something exciting as usual. We always have something exciting. Yes, we do. At least it's exciting to us. But this is a question that comes up. TV, hey, it is Friday night. We're not here. Yes, we pre-recorded once again because We Beam TV is working over in Tampa with San Diego Star. <laughs> 62, who knew? I almost said Professional Mortgage Alliance Joe's Bar and Grill. But actually, it's our 39th week of uh, 62, who knew? Uh, we're at the wonderful steampunk event at the Verizon Event Center here in 2019. I think it's still August, right? Yeah. Woo! To be able to help businesses to do the that part of it, it's just been a couple years. Well, and I've taken the business card files from our business card. Mm -hmm. okay. Entrepreneurs and professionals of Tampa Bay, Welcome to your hour for getting the information, the tools, and the connections Ian for battles on Radio Influence. Hey everybody. Or you say left hand white, and then they catch the left hand white. What it does, it helps you quick with hand-eye coordination. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, that's You're super connected. We want to introduce you to our 50 plus show partners. We got over 80 categories of expert contributor advice here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, and we want to. Yeah. 
we, that's, that's where we disagree, but that's okay. I said nonviolent. That's okay. Because, you know, we're, we're one of the only states that don't give them back your right. we got Jamie Limbaugh. He is from the Next Step Image. I love, I love that image. Because you were telling me earlier. For the type of republic we actually are is actually very really correct. Yet politicians and regular people use these words interchangeably, even though technically they are very different. Uh, you're an overdoer, overachiever, people pleaser, we tend to neglect ourselves. Mm -hmm. And even as Sisters Connected here, you know, with Women Unscripted, I know. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here. I'm your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, uh, published author and professional speaker. Check out our book on Amazon, Become the MVP in Your Industry by Surfing the Radio Waves. We wrote that book kind of sharing the message of how uh, we utilize our platform, platform to grow our celebrity and also get a lot of additional exposure for our real estate property listings, our expert contributors on the show. So check out our, our book online, and we would love to hear your feedback on it. And we are paying cash for, for properties right now. Keller offers is a ca instant cash offer program, and we're recruiting agents as well. So if you are a real estate agent or know of a great one out there, we would love to talk to them. We've got a plethora of leads. We've got lots of listings. And as you know, with the real estate business, when the listings come in, the buyer calls follow. So we get a lot of leads. So we're looking for great agents that would join our Keller Williams team. Uh, Keller Williams is the number one real estate company in the world uh, in terms of sales volume, sales units, and number of agents. And our team is at the number one office for the entire Mid-Florida Regional MLS right here in uh, the Tri-County area. Uh, did $630 million in volume last year. So we'd love to talk to you uh, right here at the Platinum MVP team, Keller Williams Realty. And save our hotline number. You might need it at some point to reach out to any of our expert contributors. We've got attorney in studio today. We've got mortgage experts, credit, all types of great uh, folks associated with the show. 813-670-7372, consumerqb.com, 813-670-7372. 7372 consumerqb.com. I want to talk to you about Catch Court. It's a lot in Tarpon Springs. We've got some beautiful lots available in uh, Harbor Point right there. It's on the end of basically where the, the mouth of the, the Anclo River comes out into the intercoastal waterways. Catch Court, it's K E T C H Court uh, in Harbor Point. Beautiful property, great opportunity to own real estate. Lots available in there. I've got three lots uh, ranging from $39,000. There's a $99,000 lot that you're seeing right there. And just some beautiful opportunities right here in Tampa Bay. I've got lots of vacant land as well. Uh, Lando Lakes, uh, ranging from on the lakefront and Lando Lakes. I've got Tarpon Springs lakefront properties. Uh, I've got commercial properties available, Clearwater properties available, and beautiful opportunities here in Tampa Bay. So if you're building and buying, we would love to talk to you. Pretty Pond and Zephyr Hills, just a great array of land that's uh, waterfront, non-waterfront, commercial land in Largo, uh, for example, Seminole Boulevard in Largo. Check out all of our listings at Platinum MVP Team. Dot kw com. This segment is brought to you by the Bill Maher Beach Resort, the official hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show, the Bill Maher Beach Resort on beautiful Treasure Island, Florida. Check that two pools on site, Sloppy Joe's Beach Bar and Restaurant, live music, and completely updated and renovated. They got meeting spaces as well if you want to hold a convention at some point. Uh, Post-COVID, of course. Uh, so check them out online. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on their special offers that they have for our radio and TV show family out there. The Bill Maher Beach Resort, the official hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, in studio, attorney Millie Athanason yes. right here in studio. So when you, when you think about pre COVID versus COVID, you know, what lessons have we learned and what challenges has that posed to the legal profession? 
You know, it's been an interesting journey so far with the legal profession. It's changed. I've been practicing now 31 years, and of course, we've never seen anything like this. Right. So what's been happening is a lot of lawyers and, and firms, they've been requiring people to work at home, mm -hmm. and they've just been coming into the office to pick up files, kind of what like what Ray was indicating, that we need a space to have our files, but we can work at home. But uh, we've also had situations where our hearings are being done by telephone because you can't have hearings at the courthouse in certain circumstances. Also, too, uh, with depositions, court reporters don't really want you coming to their office right now. They would prefer to do it via a Zoom conference or WebEx or one of those services to have like a, a teleconference on the, the depositions. And I will tell you, it's been kind of funny because now you're doing depositions and you can hear dogs barking in the background. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like that, which, you know, you never heard of that stuff. They're before. chiming in, right? They're, 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 they want to testify too. You yeah. know? We, never, we never had that before. Um, mediations are now being done also through teleconferencing and uh, or uh, through Zoom or like systems. And those have actually been working out fairly well. I think everyone was concerned at first that perhaps the negotiation process wouldn't work as well if you didn't see everybody all at once or you weren't physically present with your lawyer. You were on a uh, in another room in another location. But it actually has been working. Cases have been settling. Uh, we've been trying to move the cases as quickly as we can, even given the obstacles of not being able to get into court as quickly or maybe having difficulties with scheduling. Things have still been progressing. And to be honest with you, I actually think that post-COVID, I think you're going to see a lot of these procedures stick. Mm. And I'll tell you why. It's a it's a time situation. Yeah. You know, people don't want to have to be driving all over town to attend depositions and mediations and right. stuff. If they know that they can do the same thing and be as effective in their office. Convenience. It, it is convenience. Plus, they get more work done. And of course, all employers and all law firms want to hear that. Hey, <laughs> more, more, more money, more hourly, less work, less drive. Let, let's ask you this. I want to, I want to talk a little bit about negotiation. You, you mentioned, you know, because it's that changes the dynamic. Yes. You know, if you're if you're face to face, you're able to pick up on kind of negotiation strategy, some clues and tells, the body language side. You know, people are going to be crying to try to evoke emotion. Uh, how does that play out? How, how much difference do you see in that? It, it is different. I'm, I'm not going to, you know, lie about that, that it is a lot different, but you're still able to have those communications with your attorney privately, where you can have a private teleconference, or you could do FaceTime or something in between, like while the mediator is with the other party, for example, mm -hmm. you can have a FaceTime with your client mm -hmm. and they can see you and you can see them and you can still exchange the body language and you can be empathetic when they're crying because obviously it right. is emotional litigation is a an emotional process so yes i think it, it you can still do that i think it's actually more difficult for, for anybody for the mediator because normally the mediator would have just gone from one room to the next room right to, do, to handle the negotiations but now they're having technical difficulties of course with the with the phone systems and right. with teleconferencing but they're the ones that have to go from if you will room to room Room, yep. But instead, they're doing it via telephone, which is, I think, a lot more difficult. Yep. And my hat's off to them for being able to do it so effectively. Yeah, absolutely. That's It's a challenge for everybody involved. And if you just joined us, we're talking with attorney uh, Millie Athanason here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, law office of Millie Athanason, PA as well. And let's talk about the fact that you go to trial, some attorneys don't go to trial, they claim they go to trial. And then also the side of, uh, you know, the, the number of cases, you said it's kind of a majority of cases that actually settle before trial. It, it is. Um, the courts actually require you to go to mediation, which is a settlement conference. Yep. They require you to do that prior to even getting a trial date. Okay. They won't even set it on their calendar or put it on their docket unless you've attempted the mediation process. And the reason for that, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. 
when you go to court, let's just say it was a family law case. Right. When you go to court, you're giving up your power and you're giving it to the judge. The judge is going to make all the decisions and you're either going to like it or not like it. And nine out of 10 times, you're going to like some things, but dislike a lot of things. Whereas when you're in a settlement conference or a mediation, the power stays with you as the mm. litigant. Mm. So you have the right to choose what's going to work for you and your family circumstances. The other issue is that when you go to court, obviously the judge is bound, if it's a family law case, for example, the judge is going to be bound by the guidelines and by the statutes. Right. Whereas when you're in a mediation, you can be a lot more creative mm. and kind of tailor the settlement to the needs of your family mm. and what you're doing because everybody's family is different and they all have different needs. Right. So it allows you to do that, which is something that you can't do in a courtroom. When you have a, when you go to a courtroom and people, I think maybe from watching television shows kind right. of have a misconception of what that sure. is. You've got a very limited amount of time. Yeah. Let's just say you had a, a full day trial for yeah. eight hours. Yeah. Well, you're only going to get four hours for your side. And then the other side gets four hours. Now subtract from that lunch time, break time, you know, getting ready time, all of yeah. that. It, you really don't have that much time. Yeah. And so the, you're, Technically, when you're thinking of, I want my day in court, mm. you're not really getting a whole day. You're getting a part of a day, and you kind of have to be very concise right. and, and really tailor what you're going to testify about right. because you need to make sure that that judge has enough information to make the decision that you're looking for. And if you have a client that's going to go on and talk about a, a bunch of other things during that time, yeah, you're not going to get your point across. Right. Yes, and you really try to, you, you want to be simplified to the point, especially yes. if it's a jury trial. A absolutely. Juries, they also want to get to the point, you know, they're missing a day of work. And some people think, oh, well, you know, they don't mind they're getting out of work for the day. Well, you'd be surprised. A lot of them would rather be at work yeah. than sitting in that courtroom, yeah. <laughs> listening to a case that, you know, they know nothing about. So you want to make sure that you're talking in plain English language and that you're cutting right Right to the chase and getting to the point and not going off on these tangents because yeah. people tend to do that sometimes. Simplicity sells, complexity repels. It's one of the business, you know, the number one business, uh, you know, techniques and strategies that people have learned over the last couple of decades. Really, yes. is if you if you water it down, if the message isn't clear, and if you do bring up old stuff that is not relevant, it's just going to dilute that message. So the more clear and on point and on on topic you can be, the better you're going to drive that point home. Uh, so that's good stuff. So uh, Millie, uh, attorney Millie, uh, Anna uh, Thanison here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And, and when we think about, uh, you know, the real estate show, the quarterback show, it's it's a lot about uh, supporting our local partners, local business owners. You're right here local in the area. Where is your office based out of? So I am on Little Road at 9020 Rancho Del Rio Drive, and it is right at the corner of Rancho Del Rio and Little Road, okay. about a mile south south of the courthouse. It's right behind the Sunny's Barbecue there. And uh, I love working there. Great location. Cool. All right. Support our team here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Coming up, we've got our lightning round. So we're going to come back with all of our expert contributors, Diane Vance, Ray Hall, and, of course, attorney uh, Millie Anthanison right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back.
All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rimes here, your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show. This segment is brought to you by Replenish IV Solutions, the science of nutritional balance. What a great time to reach out to our friends Stephen and Lisa Gunnan over at Replenish IV Solutions. And we're talking about vitamin infusion IVs directly into your bloodstream. So you're getting vitamins, minerals, electrolytes, all kinds of good stuff right into your body. Of course, boosting and enhancing your immune system. The Myers cocktail is the most popular. Reach out to Replenish IV Solutions, the science of nutritional balance. Make sure you let them know the real estate quarterback sent you and take them up on special offers and incentives just by mentioning that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, we've got a couple of commercial properties for this segment. I want to tell you about 8325 West Hillsboro Avenue in Tampa. This is at the corner, pretty close to the corner of Hillsboro, Sheldon Memorial Road, right there in town and country. This is a beautiful office building listed in the mid 400s and 8325 West Hillsboro Avenue. Freestanding office building, huge conference room, small kitchen. There's eight or 10 uh, uh, offices, individual offices in there, lots of flex space as well. And you also have signage out by the road. Hillsboro Avenue is a major thoroughfare in Tampa Bay. You've got about 30, uh, 45 to 50,000 cars a day going by that location. 8325 West Hillsboro Avenue in Tampa. Very nice, very clean office building available for sale. Owner is motivated as well. And we've got a property on Grand Boulevard as well. 2435 Grand Boulevard Holiday. Uh, is a another property that we've got. It's commercial opportunity uh, right here in Tampa Bay as well. Check out all of our listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. All right, every day we're going to tell you something positive here in our feel-good story of the day. This one comes from one of my favorite uh, singers. It's Kenny Chesney. He's got 120 employees who are now out of a job and he's going to pay them for the rest of the year anyway. So he, he put a quote out as well, 120 employees on the road every day and about 30 other employees off the road. Uh, so country music superstar Kenny Chesney is postponing his 2020 chillaxification tour until next year. But despite the fact that he won't be hitting the road this year, he's going to pay all of his employees. And he did a recent interview with the LA Times. Chesney talked about how the coronavirus has a lot of uncertainty about the future. And, and regardless, his 120 employees are gonna get paid. And he says, thank God I don't have to let anybody go uh, this year. Now, if we don't play in the next two or three years, it's going to be really, you know, change the dynamic of my life. I'm not going to lie. It's expensive, he says. And the reporter says, well, what's the cost to keep everyone employed? Ch Chesney said, I don't want to get into the numbers, but it's a lot of money. Uh, the initial shock of it, I looked at the numbers and went, oh my God, uh, this is overwhelming. But I had to make a decision if I was going to keep my lifestyle the way it was or if I'm going to take care of my, of my people. Uh, but there's at least one fun moment that came from the interview. He says, I says, I can't believe I'm telling you this, but I did a wedding in Florida at the beginning of March. He goes, and I don't play weddings, but it was worth it. He goes, it wasn't a relative or close friend either. And he says, nope, just somebody that really wanted me to play his daughter's wedding. So I'd be interested to know how much he got paid to do that private event. Right. Right. Big, <laughs> big, big time superstar like Kenny Chesney doing a private wedding. He's probably getting a pretty penny on that one. All right. So now. That brings us to our lightning round. Okay, so our lightning round is going to be our top tips, nuggets of advice, and our parting words of wisdom. Uh, let's start right here in studio. Uh, Millie, Attorney Millie Athanason, uh, Athanason Law. Yes. Top tips. So I'm going to give a tip today about COVID virus and allowing visitation. Uh, sometimes the time sharing gets skewed because a parent is concerned about whether or not it's appropriate to withhold time sharing while you're going through the COVID virus. And my tip is when in doubt, don't let the other parent do without. Uh, the, both parents should be able to see the children. Both parents have the ability to use PPE and to sanitize their home and make it safe and appropriate for the kids, and they should do that. Good. That's not a reason to keep the kids just because nope. it's COVID. Nope. You got to share, have the shared parenting decision, and that's the way you should stay. Uh, Diane Vance, Fairway Independent Mortgage. Yeah, Brandon, I would like to remind people that you don't have to have 20% down for a down payment. And if you want to go to my website, dianevance.com, there's a lot of information on there about uh, different programs and different questions that people will ask all the time. Awesome. dianevance.com, Fairway Independent Mortgage. Ray Hall, Ray Hall Appraisals. 
Uh, like I always say, you know, if you're going into a real estate transaction, if someone tells you you're getting a great deal, don't take their word for it. You know, get yourself educated, get some, you know, get some support, and if need be, hire an appraiser. Uh, again, you know, you don't have to get that $400 appraisal. We can, we have appraisal starting at $150, and we can get you a product to suit your needs. So call my office, 813-452-5369. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to echo what Ray's talking about. We see a lot of for sale by owners, a lot of different properties that come to the market, and they're significantly overpriced. So if you are going to those blindly and you're not relying on a professional on your side, then you're setting yourself up to make a thousand, multi-thousand dollar mistake. And we've seen it happen. Uh, we also want to kind of talk about when you look at taking advice from people that may not have... Uh, you know, I heard the quote, never take advice from someone that you wouldn't change places with. You know, and it's really a valid point when you think about it. When you take advice from some people, you know, what's their credentials? What do they really know? And a lot of times we listen to, it uh, could be Uncle you know, Uncle Bob or Aunt Susie, whoever it might be, just because they may have, you know, closed a deal in the past and you can't take what they're saying as 100%, you know, gospel. It, it, a lot of times it's not true, it's not accurate, it's off, and it can set you up to fail. It can cost you a lot of money. And it, specifically, when you think about buying a for sale by owner, you've got to make sure you get a proper appraisal, inspection. And I think the same mistake is made when they're buying construction homes, uh, pre construction new homes, is they just trust the builder too much. You really want to make sure you have someone looking out for your rights. So either a buyer agent, you know, your own inspector to go in and do those incremental inspections, you know, before they rough in and close the walls. You know, once they have the plumbing and the electrical done, they do what they call the rough in. Uh, you want to have your inspector look and make sure everything's proper and done to code and done properly. Because believe me, when these builders are building properties so fast, they're doing a large volume of properties, they're they're going to overlook stuff just like most you know businesses can that that have that high uh, amount of output uh, so have someone on your side my set my my quote would be uh, to, to have a fiduciary have somebody that's going to look out for you that's acting as a single agent for you and protecting you on your side of the transaction and check us out at platinum mvp team.kw.com for more details on that uh, we're going to do another round here, uh, Millie, Attorney Millie Athanason. Give us some more tips, top top tips, nuggets of advice, maybe some words of wisdom. Well, if uh, if you need any assistance, whether it be on family cases or personal injury, please give me a call. My uh, number is 727-376-9100 or 1-833-ASK-MILLIE. Very cool. I like that one, 1-833-ASK-MILLIE. Very memorable. I like that one. Thank All you. right, let's go back to Diane Vance. Diane, Fairway Independent Mortgage. I want to mention that we are very busy and we are expecting an exceptional year. So we are hiring. We are hiring underwriters, processors, loan officers, assistants, um, even military. If you're getting out of military and you want to, there's a program out there that you can come intern, see if you like it. We'll do some training. Um, just uh, go to my website or give me a call at 727-647-8199 and send me your resume. All right, dianevance.com. Ray Hall, Ray Hall Appraisals. Uh, you know, I just want to give a couple of tips. If you're getting an appraisal done, just a couple of things to think about doing before the appraiser gets there. Uh, you're not going to be able to do a whole lot of work that can increase that value, but straighten the house up a little bit, open some windows, make it bright, make it smell good. And if you have any little little dents in the wall, things like that, patch up the little stuff so the appraiser's not getting his eye caught and looking for bigger things. So just freshen up that house, make it look good, and I hope that that appraiser will work out for you. All right, good stuff. To, and I'll talk today about the uh, Pareto Principle. It's an 80-20 rule. People have heard of this before. You know it. You've heard of it. Uh, and it's also known as the principle of least resistance, the least effort, right? So doesn't that make sense? Don't we all want the least path of least resistance to the easiest way to uh, success or, or riches? So the idea is to, to think about what you do on a daily basis. And if you look at 
you're you're doing eight out of ten things. Ten, you know, two of those things are going to be uh, going to be more productive for you and are going to move the needle towards the success lever uh, closer than anything else. And if you look at the eighty twenty rule, it breaks down over all different industries, all different uh, areas of life. Uh, you've got twenty percent of the people that drink eighty percent of the beer, for example. There's a fun one, right? <laughs> you got you got twenty percent of the criminals that commit eighty percent of the crime. You know those repeat offenders. You got if you look in your closet, you got twenty percent of the clothes that you wear eighty percent of the time. You know, uh, in any industry, you've got twenty percent of the realtors doing eighty percent of the volume. Right, so the eighty twenty rule it's 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 an interesting principle, and it really breaks down in those ways. So what you want to do is make sure you're focusing on the things that matter, and focusing on what you can do in that moment. And if you look at people that say they want to make a hundred thousand dollars a year, you know you divide that by the number of hours in the year, and that's uh, I think it's two thousand working hours in the year that we have. So that's fifty dollars per hour if you want to make a hundred thousand dollars in a year. So if you're Every hour, if you're saying, hey, am I doing, are the tasks that I'm completing right now worth at least $50 an hour? And if they're not, that's where you talk about delegating. That's where you talk about hiring an admin, hiring an assistant, and, and allowing that person to do those lower level tasks, those, those tasks that they can handle. And then you focus on your specialty, what you went to school for, what you got your specializations for, and it's going to help you grow your business and achieve success faster. So those are your tips from our Consumer Quarterback Show experts and myself today. We appreciate you tuning into the show. Uh, our loyal listeners out there, the Salem family uh, of, of listeners, and, and we appreciate the calls. We've had an uptick in calls lately, people calling in and you know wanting to find out more information, uh, hooking up with Diane to get the mortgage side done. Ray Hall has his $150 owner's use appraisal as well. And um, all of our expert contributors, please support the show. We greatly appreciate it. Check out ConsumerQB.com and our hotline number, 813-670-7372 for any comments, questions, feedback on the show. We would love to hear from you. That's our off-air number. And we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness, something as simple as packing up some food, handing it to that person that you see in need, volunteering, donating some time, maybe swing a hammer for Habitat for Humanity. We'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time. For-